Welcome to ITVO Config Windows programming software video. First, we'll do a quick checklist to make sure that you have everything you need to configure iLink Professional's text inserter and overlay POS interface device. Then we'll download the software from our website and install ITVO Config Windows software. Once the software is installed, we'll show you how to set ITVO HD format to match your camera's format like AHD, TVI, CVI, or CVBS, and also match the resolution of your camera like 1080p, 720p, or 960h resolution. Next, we'll show you how to change the text size, shade, and add background, as well as how to change the location of the text. And then we'll look at how to add and change exception keyword that blinks on your screen when those keywords are rung up. And finally, we'll look at the logging for basic troubleshooting. ITVO Config Windows programming software can be downloaded from our website, www.ilinkpro.com. Once you're on our website, you can go down to your products and click on the first option, which is POS CCTV Video Text Insider and Overlay. It's the same location where you may have gone to to order this device. Once you're on this page, you can go to any one of these devices. Your device may look uh, different, maybe a, a creamish beige white color. Uh, we've just upgraded our uh, hardware to, uh, to black, so don't get confused. It's the same device. Once you click on it, you can scroll down and you will see towards the bottom Windows programming software right over here. Go ahead and download the software and install the software on your desktop or your laptop. Now that you have installed the software, you should get the orange icon for IT will config. But before we go into the software, I want to go ahead and connect my USB to serial cable or adapter uh, since I don't have the 9 pin serial, which some of you may have been running into the same thing. Uh, so before I plug it in, I'm going to go ahead and right click on my start menu and go into device manager because I want to see which COM port that it uh, connects or creates. Uh, when I plug it in. So I'm in Device Manager and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick drop here. Currently I have COM2 which is my internal COM port um, but I don't really have a physical port. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up my USB to serial adapter or cable to my USB port and uh, it should show up right over here. So it's telling me that I have uh, that, it, that particular device is actually on COM3. So now that I know it's on COM3, I'm going to exit Device Manager and launch the ITVO config software. Once you start the software, on top right here it says COM port. I'm going to go ahead and drop down and go to COM3. So whichever COM port that you have, you can go ahead and select that particular COM port. So mine is COM2, so I'm going to go ahead and select COM3. And click on Connect, and that will connect, and you should see your COM port number, and it should say Open Successfully. Once it's done that, it's very easy to change the format of the text inserter. By default, in most cases, the text inserter is set to AHD slash TVI 1080p. Now, if you've ordered the product from our website and you specified, we normally pre-configure it to whatever you specified as a courtesy. But just in case, if you need to change that, you can do that by file, load config, and all of these configuration file, which should be under ITVO config data file location, all of these configuration files. So let's quickly take a look at it. So we have a first config file that says 720p AHD TVI. So if you have AHD or TVI 720p camera, then you select this one. If you have a 720p CVI camera, go ahead and select this one. If you have 1080p AHD or TVI, it's the same file for both, select this one. If you have CVI 1080p, go ahead and select this one. Or if you have old CVBS uh, 960H or older cameras, uh, you can go ahead and select you know CFG PAL NTSC D1 slash SD, which is standard resolution as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just randomly pick one. I'm going to go ahead and pick 1080p HD TVI uh, file and open. Now that I've opened it, it's in the memory of this software. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and download it to the text insider device and it will send those configuration file 
to the text overlay device and once it's done you should you it, that device is set to that particular resolution file or configuration file that you selected so now my text inserter is set to AHD or TVI doesn't matter because the same file for both at 1080p resolution if you want to change it to something different you can simply just go back go into load config pick up another file and click on download config to the device now let's go ahead and show you how to change the size uh, of the font add background um, and change the location of it but before I do that I just want to quickly uh, uh, mention one thing and go over these two these two buttons. We've looked at download config to device and then you also have upload config from device. So let's say that you've received a device, your device is already configured or you have configured it before. Now you just want to go and you're just going into the software to change the size or location or making any changes uh, to your text insider device. So when you do that, once you connect it, click on load config from device. The way this software works is all the configuration is actually on the device and when you upload the config from the device it'll bring all the settings from your device to the memory of this software. So if you have everything set up right and the only thing you're doing is making changes, you're not changing the format but you're changing fonts, things like that, then before you make any changes go ahead and upload the config file from your device so we have all the configurations. So I'll go ahead and do it right now and you'll see that it's now getting files from the device and it's loading it up on the software. Uh, once it's loaded now I have the configuration from that particular device. Um, so here's how you change your text size. You have three options. You have normal, medium, large. You also have the text intensity. Um, by default is set to 100% or, or at least that text insert that I have hooked up was set to 100%. Then you can also change the intensity of your background. If you want to make it really dark, then increase it. If you want to make it completely black, probably put it 100. You can also disable background. If you don't want background, just uncheck it. And you can also choose to have a transparency so that way, even though you're seeing a text, but you also want to see what's going on behind the text. Um, so it'll do that. So this is a transparency you can turn on and off. The location of your text uh, or position of your text can be set by just scrolling these uh, bars right and left or up and down. And that should do that. If that's all you want to do, then you can go into main again and download the configuration and the new settings will be applied. But let's go ahead and look at other settings before we send it to the um, uh, text insider device. I'm going to go ahead and put it on medium right now. Let's look at print control. These are basic functions, you know, uh, for the most part, default work perfectly fine. But if you're having some changes, you want to change the format of it, uh, you want to reduce the number of lines it's showing, or if, you know, you don't want to see show long 40 characters, you can reduce it down and it'll send it to the next page. So mostly a pretty self explanatory once you get to this page. Click on exception. Exceptions are the keywords that actually flash on your screen when those transactions, when they are rung up and those text comes in. So uh, we have pre-configured eight of them already. Void, no sell, refund, coupon, paid out, return, cancel, no dash sell. Um, to cover most of the POSs, but if you want to change these or if you want to leave this and you just want to add more, you can add eight more right over here. Uh, these are alarms, uh, you know, if you have, you can also hook up the cache door and, and, and other devices. It goes a little bit advanced, so we won't go into too much detail. But if you are um, uh, playing with that, you can always go into help and quick start guide these manuals right here. They show you how to do it. Um, but for the most part, the default settings should be fine. If you ever have to change the port settings, for the most part, as I said, um, they are default, do work. But if your point of sale system is hooked up, you know, set up to different baud rate, uh, then you can come over here and change. Remember, this is COM1, which is behind your text insider, is for the POS. And the front port, which is COM2, is set for the programming port, which is a front port. As I said, default, do work fine. Uh, when you click on logging, it actually shows you the real-time logs uh, or, the, or the text that's coming in. By default, it'll only show you exceptions. So there's any words that you have your voids uh, let's go to page one any of these words when they pop up they will show up in logging but if you want to see everything 
if you're doing a diagnostic or troubleshooting you can just click on transaction and click start and anything that is that is rung up it, it should show up um, in here and again this is a more advanced settings I suggest that you don't go into more and make any changes there once you have changed whatever you need to for example text uh, or exception words um, you can go ahead and go into main and click on download config to device and this will send the configuration back to your device so once again don't forget that if you're making changing to changes to existing uh, text insider device um, I strongly recommend first get the configuration from your device by clicking on upload config file from the device and then make changes and once you make the change go ahead and download it to your text insider device this is pretty much it it's a very self-explanatory straightforward software if you have any questions please do feel free to give us a call uh, our tech support is here from Monday to Friday 9 a.m. to 5 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time thanks for watching this video